All vehicles idle from time to time. For most vehicles, it is for a matter of seconds. But due to how they are used, fire trucks may idle for several hours. They must idle when responding to a fire for several reasons. The engines need to be ready to respond quickly to another call if necessary. The motor is needed to operate ladders, to pump water, and to keep the brakes pressurized. This means that the vehicles idle, burning fuel and emitting pollution. 2007 and newer diesel engines are equipped with pollution control devices, including diesel oxidation catalysts, or DOCs, and particulate filters. Unlike cars, which the U.S. Department of Transportation say have an average life of 12 years, the average replacement cycle for a diesel-fired truck engine in Buncom County is approximately 20 years. Older diesel engines contribute significantly to air pollution in North Carolina. The Western North Carolina Regional Air Quality Agency was awarded a $31,500 grant through the North Carolina Department of Environment and Natural Resources Diesel Emissions Economic Recovery Grant Program designed to reduce diesel emissions from the emergency response fleets in Buncombe County and the city of Asheville. Retrofitting pre-2007 diesel engines with pollution control devices such as DOCs, can result in significant reductions in pollution. The Western North Carolina Regional Air Quality Agency worked with the fire marshal's office to install 20 diesel oxidation catalysts on pre-2007 fire engines in seven fire departments in Buncombe County and the city of Asheville. Diesel oxidation catalysts can be installed on on-road and off-road diesel engines and run on regular diesel fuel. The technology has been in use for several years and does not involve an increase in maintenance costs. The diesel oxidation catalysts used in this project have been EPA verified to reduce particulate matter emissions by 20% hydrocarbon emissions by 66% and carbon monoxide emissions by 41%. It is estimated that the reduction in pollution associated with this project is between one and two tons per year. This project is one of the first of its kind to address diesel emissions from emergency response vehicles in the eight southeastern state region. The agency hopes to create a case study that can be used by other emergency response departments to implement similar projects. Congress has appropriated funds for the Diesel Emissions Reduction Program that gives EPA grant and loan authority to promote diesel emission reductions. Western North Carolina Regional Air Quality Agency will be working to let other public and private fleet managers know about the benefits and potential funding sources available for similar projects to help improve air quality even more in our area.